Starting in 1870, more than 150,000 Aboriginal children were taken away from their parents and forced into residential schools. Andrew Wesley is one of the 80,000 residential school survivors still living in Canada. He is a counselor at the Toronto Council Fire Native Cultural Centre. Here, he leads a weekly healing circle for other survivors to help them heal from the intergenerational trauma of their residential school experiences. In the healing circle, Andrew listens intently as survivors share their pain. And now I'm getting nightmares again. Andrew can relate to their pain. In school, he was beaten with a shoe. They had a high rubber uh, heels. And I was hit with that for I don't know how many times. I know I got, I got knocked out. Stories like Andrew's is what the Truth and Reconciliation Commission encourages survivors to share. In her talk at York University, Dr. Marie Wilson told us about the effects that sharing was having on survivors. People say things like, I feel like I can finally breathe. I feel like I have set down a load that I have been carrying around for the past 40, 50, 60, 65 years. Despite the 140-year history of residential schools, an apology by the Prime Minister and the largest class action settlement in Canadian history, many Canadians are unaware of stories like Andrew's. Professor Peter Dawson provides a possible explanation. Mm, the one reason that I would choose is that Aboriginal people and Indigenous peoples in Canada are the most discriminated group of people in Canada. Um, there are histories of abuse and violations against human rights of Indigenous peoples in Canada that have been submerged under discourses um, that uh, make it very difficult for the general population to become aware. The community where I come from, there's lots of family violence, and most of these uh, people that are in that situation are products of... Uh, of uh, residential school because uh, many of us never learned how to be a parent, how to be a, a good person, how to raise a good family. And, and, that's, uh, and that's what happened to us. So we didn't know that, so we, we do what, what we learned uh, in residential school years. In sharing, Andrew hopes that the public will become aware of some of the root causes to their present suffering. For Say News, I'm Bita Bardi in Toronto.